What is interesting for me as an observer and as a participant in this industry is that 70% of leaders in financial services, when they are polled uh, about disruptive tech, they say it is a concern for them, and that is because traditionally this industry has adopted uh, technology which is very mature, but now they are, they are adopting technologies which they still consider perhaps in their maturity cycle relatively early on. And you might wonder, but why are they adopting it? Why are they racing to outdo each other when adopting these technologies? And that's really because of you, the customer. Customers are increasingly looking for personalization in real time. 75% of you, when polled, say that your loyalty to a brand that is able to raise the bar for, expect uh, bar for experiences and is able to do so in real time will win your loyalty. And that, when you couple it with things like 54% of you also say that your trust in financial institutions, it's hard for these institutions to get your trust. And, and think about how companies can react to some ask like this from customers, which is, hey, I want personalization. I want you to do things that are uniquely for me. And I want you to understand me and solve my problems. I want you to do this in real time. And then how exactly will companies do this? Well, let me give you an example, things like edge computing. Today, financial service companies are looking at edge compute, not because they are very savvy in the use of edge compute, but because that is how they deliver that trust, as in they deliver the privacy, which builds the trust. And this is how they actually are able to build and deliver that personalization, which is contextual, and it's real time. 